All right, good afternoon. It is April 12th, 2021. It is Vlog 70. Amazing. Actually, it's the after day because I've already done a lot of work today. So, um, already busy and already tired. I'm not even gonna lie. Like right now, I'm just like forcing myself to do this vlog. I don't know, I, I had trouble sleeping this weekend or there's just a lot of, lot of different stuff going on. I think there's just a lot of different stuff going on, so. My brain's in overdrive, which is good. I'm not complaining at all. It's just, yeah, it can be tiring. Got to stay in shape, right? But anyways, let me tune up really quick. My, actually, I need an afternoon tune, which is good. It, which is good, but happy Monday, everybody. Um, it feels like a lot of people are going back to work out there. I was out at the, I was at the shop today. So hopefully everything's going fine. Still good. Yeah, it makes me feel better actually. Um, I'm just been tired, man. It's kind of crazy. Like, like everybody sees me happy on these vlogs and stuff like that, but yeah, sometimes I feel like I don't feel like doing it. <laughs> and actually, I was like, do it. I was like, actually, I was taking a nap just a minute. I just got up, and uh, yeah, and I'm still tired. I'm just going, oh my gosh. But anyways, I'm good. I am absolutely good. It's just life is fun. And we're getting busy. So it is April 12th, 2020 Vlog 70. Wow. Yeah, still going. Um, actually, it's, you know, it's just good. I, I got to talk to a lot of people this weekend that I haven't seen in a while or talked to in a while. And yeah, I just keep saying it's so cool to just reminisce on what you're doing and that's why I'm doing this you know I'm turning 50 this year been alive for 50 years that's kind of crazy and um, you know just learning a lot about myself even today you think you would know a lot more but uh, I know quite a bit just I want to know more it's kind of crazy and uh, let's see Saturday actually I cut off last time on Friday Mini, I, I did mine late. I did the vlog late on Friday. So I think pretty much, yeah, that's when I went to Corey's. That was so fun. <sighs> Actually, this week, I may be doing something with him this week on Friday. I think I am, but it's just it's just tripping me out. It's kind of because I haven't done this trick in a while and in a minute. but And I haven't skated his ramp yet, so that's going to be kind of crazy. But we'll see. I'll film it, and you guys will see it. Uh, but on Saturday, I remember I slept in, uh, did a slow roll that morning because I knew I had just a couple things. I'm just trying to take it easy this weekend. And uh, let's see. What do I, oh, yeah, I had the DIY hand pan uh, live show, which is always good with Dave. And actually, we were doing a little bit different this time, and it was fun. I'm kind of talking back and forth, and it just felt really organic and relaxed, and we gave out good information for those hand pan players out there. It was cool. So that's fun. That's always that's always something the live shows that we're doing is just keeping us polished on how to talk to people, um, sharing what's going on with DII, and it's just fun. It's good to share knowledge, I think. Uh, but, and then... Uh, see that the Saturday was kind of weird. Oh yeah, I was just doing. I think I was doing. Yeah, I was writing songs. I was trying to do songs. I wrote a couple of those. 
because on my hundred days of ook, that's all I have left to do is write songs. And I have, yeah, the ones that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna rewrite them. Actually, not even in here, it's so funny. They're in my other thing, but rewrite them. Like these are the ones that I have left. And I'm on day, today's 72. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten here. So that brings me to 80. And then have to write 20 more. So and I'm, I have this like assembly line that I'm doing. I have the songs that I do, but I want to rewrite them into my format. And then, and then go from there. So. That was my challenge, or my 100 Day Ook Challenge song, every day. Um, re I have to rewrite it. It has to be rewritten, because I, I find songs that are from some peop some other people, and I just want to rewrite it into my thing. So that's what's happening. And I don't know what song I'm going to do. I just get to pick out of that pile, which is cool. Um, let's see, and then Brandon came over. Oh yeah, this is where it started, like my mind's blown right now because there's a lot of good stuff happening right now um, in business-wise, in business, and I don't know, it's just getting busier, and uh, my friend Brandon that we haven't talked to in a while, we used to work with him at Verizon, and he came over and wanted to share with him us a new business <laughs> that he's doing. <laughs> and actually, it ended up we we're going to start a new business, which is cool, actually. It actually is pretty awesome. Once I started thinking about it, I was like, oh, my God. And nobody's doing it, so I'm not going to say anything right now. You will see we're getting together uh, the LLC partnership agreement, and we're going to rock this out. So it's going to be cool. So I'm going to be really busy starting another business, doing the vlog. <laughs> uh, Got to challenge yourself sometimes, right? I don't have, I, I'm turning 50, so got to get this, get this life thing going. You know, I've lived a life, but now, you know, hey, time's, yeah, time's running short. So I want to do as much as I can. That's going to be fun. And then on Sunday... So Brandon came over and that just blew me away because it was really cool. And it's kind of in line with, with what we're doing right now anyways. So yeah, we could totally add it on and do it. So that was cool. So um, then say I needed more rest because I was tired. Uh, trying to sleep in as long as possible. I was trying to sleep until like late, like 12, do one of those, but it didn't happen. Uh, uh, did some errands that day. I think I had a free morning and then free morning till the afternoon. And then we had planned a, uh, hangout with Aaron and Paul. We haven't seen them in a while. And yeah, that was really fun because yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've known Aaron and Paul for quite a while over the years and, and lots of parties and stuff at their house. So it was kind of like you know, just hanging out their house. So when I went over there, it was kind of reminiscing on the different times that we had. It was kind of cool. And then it was cool because Aaron, Carrie was telling me, she's like, Aaron, Aaron likes, is into ancient aliens too. And I was like, no way. And then we fully had a conversation about aliens and yeah, all of that. It's so funny. And it was weird. It was just weird. And we, and Aaron's like, yeah, we, we're on the same wavelength, and we've come to the same conclusions and stuff like that. Paul and Carrie are more, yeah, I need to see evidence on it and what's happening, and I just go, well, it's there. It's just nobody's really saying. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. It would be too weird to say it. And so, yeah. Yeah, it was fun. But Aaron made this excellent pasta. Actually, we still have leftovers, so we're probably having it tonight and chicken. And they redid their kitchen. With, it was really nice. It was really cool. And talking with Paul, seeing what he was doing. He's doing his guard thing. And yeah, they're just, he actually retired from the, the police department. So yeah. Yeah, it was good to see those guys and, you know, reminisce on stuff. And 
stuff at night, and it was just a nice, good, chill Sunday. I didn't want to really think about anything or be in a hurry. I still got work done. It's just I don't even want to be rushed. So, ah, uh, and then that brings us to today. And actually, I'll just go over it anyways. Monday, today I woke up early because today I had a Zoom call with flight ukuleles. And um, actually, that turned out to be a good good thing. I was like, cool. We might be doing business in the future. So, uh, yeah, had a Zoom call. Then right after that, I had a hand pan appointment at the shop. And Sherry and, Sherry and Eric came in and... You know, I shared with them hand pans, and that was cool. They rented a hand pan, but they're going to be back this next week. They're actually visiting from up north, <laughs> from Mountain View, and they they had plans to come here, so that's what they did. That was cool. And then uh, I wa- got the car wash, Carrie's car. Had a Cybulls from True Nature. If you guys don't know what Cybulls, I think I talked about this before, but another spot that we go to is True Nature. I think uh, the other spot... Um, Oh my god, I can't even think right now. Blue Bowl. They have really good. They have really good acai bowls. And then True Nature is good too. It's just they're different. And yeah, I've got to say. And it's funny, the guy over there actually remembers my order. <laughs> it's weird because I only gone in there during COVID and I have my mask on. I think it's my hat because I always wear that hat. But he's all, two happy Buddhas with honey. And I just go, oh yeah. And he had it. It was so cool. Drew, I think his name was Drew, and then there was Jack. Then I took a nap, and now I'm awake, and here I am. So, yeah, that's what's going on. Whoa, I almost <laughs> fell. <laughs> I just totally almost fell. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that that's, uh, that's our my vlog for today. It's Monday. It's April 5th. I mean, it better stop because I almost fell out of my chair. That was so crazy. So I have this crazy roller. Da, 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 da. Sometimes if you go way too far, the the chair flips over. But this chair is pretty awesome, actually. I'll get I'll I'll leave you with the story of this chair. Uh, this chair is actually, if you know anything about chairs, it's a Ekronis chair. Um, they're highly sought out for, and I got this on accident. It's so crazy. I was checking out some furniture Craigslist, and it was at Warner in West LA for an old office that I had. It was kind of crazy, and um, they had a desk, or they had some chairs that I wanted. So I went over there. They're closing the the. I guess the office was closing down, and uh, and then the chairs I was looking at. There, this was right next to it. And I just go, oh, I need another. Because I wanted a, like a captain's chair for your desk or whatever, and I go, "Wow, this one's cool." Had rollers on it. I actually changed the rollers, and then I sat in it. I just go, "Oh, this feels like cool," you know. And then I go, "How much is this chair?" And then the guy that was like selling the stuff, I think he was an agent or something, and he got on his phone. And he goes, "He goes, do you want to buy it?" And I go, "Yeah." I go, "I just, how much is it?" And then he goes, he made got on the phone. And he goes. How much? How much do you want to pay for this? And I go thirty dollars. That was the first thing out of my mouth. I go thirty dollars. <laughs> and then the guy goes, "You got it." And I was like, "Sick." So I took this home and I did some research. And this Ekronis chair is pretty gnarly. These things go for like a thousand dollars. I was like, "Are you freaking kidding me?" And people look for these particular ones. And this one's kind of rare because usually they have a like a standing base, like a regular base. And I don't know if you've seen it. Yeah, those those chairs, those Eames chairs, that's what these are. It's like crazy. And it's really cool because like, usually these like reclining chairs, I can recline it all the way <laughs> like this. <laughs> and it's comfy and it won't tip over, except if you do this and try to, but yeah, this thing is solid. The cushion on the bottom is kind of beat up, so I put another cushion. And um, actually on the top here, it's all beat up. You can see this, because that's from the cat, but this is all leather. And actually I've looked online on how to change these cushions and you can find them, but you have to like look for it. And then 
this bottom cushion if I want to change it and I have to look for it and refix it and stuff like that. But if I fix this chair up, I don't even know how it's going to be worth. It was like thousands of dollars or something. <laughs> and I got it for 30. <laughs> wow, that was so cool. But yeah, it's a cool chair. I had it for quite a while. And it's, I just, it's fun. It's comfy and gets the job done, I guess. But that's the story on the chair and I'll leave it with that. I left, leave me with that so I remember the story. But today is uh, April 12th, 2021. It is Vlog 70. <sighs> oh, actually, dang, I didn't even do my thing. Let's look at the weather. <laughs> uh, All right, let me look at the weather. I'm not going to end right now. That's so funny. I forgot to do my weather. I'm so out of it. Let's see. Not that one. Oh, somebody's calling. That's a junk call. Uh, da, da, da. Let's see. Weather. Today actually was nice. I was at the shop today. And it was partly cloudy. Uh, and it was around 70s. Actually, over there, it got kind of close to 70, I think. Out in Lakewood. But this is weird. Yeah, this is weird. It doesn't. It's sunny outside, and it's partly cloudy. I guess. What time is it? Four four. Oh, it might. Interest. I don't know what's happening. It's kind of. It's kind of sunny outside. Maybe if I look down, there might be cloudy. But it was okay. It was in the uh, uh, upper sixties today, which is cool. It's always nice. Seventies perfect. Below sixty, it's like kind of good. But that's that, and actually there are, I think there were some cool birthdays today. Let's talk about this. And today's birthdays. Oh, Lisa. Lisa Yaris, that's Nathan Yaris's wife, my cousin. And yeah, it's her birthday today. Awesome. Happy birthday, Lisa. If she ever watches this. Emily Ellis too. Oh, M. Oh my God. It's my Chad's half sister. And yeah, M. Happy birthday, M. <laughs> if you ever watch this. And Scott Tojo. Oh my God. This guy from uh, Scott Tojo from high school. Jeff Linsky, yeah, awesome guitar player, ukulele pro guy, he's, awesome. I haven't heard him in a while, so, yeah, happy birthday, Jeff, and, I don't know who this is, Kevin Lander, <laughs> Kevin, oh, Kevin, <laughs> Kevin, it doesn't even show a picture. <laughs> he just recently, that's Mark's buddy, Kevin. He's in Hawaii, so happy birthday, Kevin. Wow, some good birthdays. So we had Lisa Yaris, happy birthday. Emily Ellis, sister, happy birthday. Kevin, over in Hawaii. I haven't talked to that guy in a while. Scott Tojo and Jeff Linsky, so amazing. Happy birthdays. Special day, there's a lot of people. Cool, but... Yeah, I gotta sing my song today, so I'm gonna finish with that. And it is April 12th, 2021. It is Vlog 70, and it is Monday. And I was feeling it earlier, but now I feel better now that I talked it out. <laughs> and, like, and so that's all I have for us today. And like always, every day, keep on. Shrimp and ukulele, yeah. See you tomorrow.